Well, hello there. Uh, today we're going to try and show you how to change uh, the speaker on a late 2016 MacBook Pro uh, with a trackpad, and this is uh, model A1707. Uh, so I'm going to try and show you how to replace speakers in your MacBook Pro. Uh, again, this is uh, I think a 15 inch um, late 2016. A model A1707. So here we go. Um, make sure you go out and get a pentalobe uh, screwdriver. So this is a pentalobe screwdriver and you're gonna want to get a 1.2 by 25 millimeter uh, size um, pentalobe screwdriver and you see right put right there in the screws and unscrew each of the screws holding the back of your MacBook Pro, uh, the baseboard on there, so. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 1.2 by 25 millimeter pentalobe screwdriver and you're just gonna start unscrewing each of the six screws. You gotta have the right pentalobe screwdriver. It's really picky, because even if it looks small enough, it might be a little too big. And then if it looks really small, it might be just a little bit too small. So you gotta have the exact size for this model. And again, this model is model A1707. It's a, a late, a mid to late model 2016 MacBook Pro uh, with the touch bar. Spared you the excruciating pain of watching me get this panel removed, but but it's it's a little tricky. The the pros make it look a lot easier than it is. But basically, you want a plastic, some sort of a pry tool. That you, once you get the screws off, you're going to want to get in here and pry up. And it's um, there's two clips, I think, on each side here, underneath, and up here. So you need to pry it up all the way around and then actually end up sliding it down. And then you just pull it right off like that. And then you can start, we can start working on our speaker. Okay, so I've got my double-sided electrical tape over here uh, that I got in preparation to put on the back of the new speaker. But actually the new speaker came with its own uh, ready-made adhesive. You just peel it off and it sticks right to the board so that's actually really convenient so now I've got this extra tape that I don't need but you're gonna take your syringe and you're gonna fill it with about 95 96 percent alcohol and I'll show you where that's gonna go in one second okay so this speaker that we're actually working on is the uh, it's the right speaker but once you flip the laptop over, it's gonna be on your left. So just make sure you keep your orientation correctly. And it, it does matter which speaker you order. So you can see that this is the right speaker and it's going to match uh, in place just where that one is. So what we're gonna do next is you're gonna take your syringe with 95, 96% alcohol. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's two little holes right down under there and you're just going to put a very little just a couple dabs under each of those and just let it sit for a second then you're going to take a very small uh, screwdriver I've got a very small flathead screwdriver or some sort of other pry tool and you're going to get in I don't know if you can see this crease here but it's in between the plastic of the speaker and the metal casing and you're just gonna start wedging it in there and wiggling it back and forth just a little bit at a time. You don't wanna break it. I mean, it is a bad speaker, but we don't wanna break it. But you just wanna start loosening it a little bit. Hopefully the alcohol will prove to unstick the adhesive there. Try 
try adding a little plastic tool like I did. And we'll just add a little bit more alcohol in there. Tilt it a little bit to let it work down in. It's coming up a little bit more. Alright, so you can see here, I've been prying on this for a while and it's finally starting to come up. So now I'm going to try and just pull it up with my fingers a little bit more. And you can see that, that adhesive, that glue, and the alcohol really did a good job. And it can pretty much just, almost just roll this out. And now it's just a little bit of goop there still hanging on and then you just pop this right out of there all right so there's there's the old speaker we got it out and next I'll show you how to put the new one in there's a new speaker right here we're gonna peel off the the back Okay, so what we have here is the repaired speaker. And um, I didn't show you in the video, but I took out all the old um, adhesive and goop that was underneath there. And um, so that comes out really well with the alcohol. Um, so you probably want to hold on to the old speaker for just a little bit, just to make sure you actually got the right speaker and that that was the problem. Also, as far as reinstalling the connection, um, which is, um, right here, if you can see it, you're probably gonna need some sort of fine tweezers like this to really pull it and line it up and just tap, you know, snap it in. So don't be afraid to just snap it in there. Okay, so that uh, summarizes the repair for the right speaker uh, for a late 2016 model A1707 MacBook Pro here. And all we have to do now is put the paneling back on and hope it works.